Right, so now we're going to do the keypad. And the keypad is going to be, let's say here, you can always move this around uh, later, but let's say this is going to be the space for the keypad. I'm going to get a cube. And just position this, scale it. Uh, I'm going to make it rectangular, not so much square. Okay. Maybe it's too thick. Okay, then I'm going to give this the old oops, bevel for one for segments. Okay, so I'm going to back. Turn on swap selection. And let's yeah, insert the edge loops. I want multiple edge loops, let's say five going that way, let's say three going this way. Right? Just keeping things in quads. And aside from keeping things as quads, uh, you also don't want really large sections. Right, so this is like evenly spaced. This one I should actually, just for good measure, add some here as well. So eight. Something like that. And then maybe two or three. Maybe just two. Yeah, that's fine. Actual keys. I'm going to get a cube. Where are you? Cube. There you go. Scale this down. Like so. All right. And I'm going to grab this back face, scale that up. And you can actually delete this technically. You're never going to see that part anyway. Right. And then instead of beveling, I want to do something different here. I am going to get again my edge loops, go back to relative distance, and I'm just going to add edge loops going this way, that way, that way, and that way. Right, so if I press three, you get uh, this, which is your key, nicely rounded. And I'm missing a couple more, so let's go in this direction and that direction. So there we go. Okay, so this is one, three, and what I want to do with uh, while it's at three, I can go to modify, convert, smooth mesh preview to polygons, and this actually smooths it. Okay, and just for a little bit of extra detail, I can grab the center vertex, hold down B to open up my soft selection. Grab. And then move it inward so you have a slight indention like this. Some keypads have that. It's a bit too much. There we go. Slight indention. There. And now it's a matter of placement. Just going to move this over here so it's easier to work with. So you get a bit bigger. And I'm going to put. Uh, probably like 15 keys because remember when you're doing uh, you're doing because uh, remember when you're doing a vending machine keypad right you have zero to nine and then letters 
right? And then uh, maybe an extra key for cancel, right? Let's say that big uh, duplicate. Okay, what you could do is you could go to edit duplicate special. Uh, make sure smart transform is on. I just want copy, so that's good. So once I hit that, I can just move it a certain distance. And then every time I hit Control Shift B, it moves over that same distance. Yes, I can hear it. Please stop. Thank you. And then I get these, control shift D, move them down like so. Yeah. But, okay, so we can position this like this. A bit big but maybe that much and then you go to modify uh, no no sorry you go to edit duplicate special option box make sure smart transform is on copy duplicate special and then now every time i press ctrl shift d it moves it that same distance i can set this like this and then control shift D, put it down, control shift D again and again and again. Okay, so roughly this is your keypad. Please, please stop rocking the chair. Now we just oops properly place them here. Roughly, there you go. Right, that's your keypad. Could stand to be a bit bigger, I guess. But yeah, we can adjust that again. So there we go. And the next thing we want to do is the uh, the rest of so the card reader and where you put your coins. 